Hey, it's Lee. How you doing? Uh, so I just thought I'd do another quick update um, on the Axis Hollywood tape. So that was uh, uh, that was definitely the time I was working there. In fact, my office, they kind of walk by where my office was. This is the old uh, Burbank Studios lot. And the big Axis Hollywood 10 bus, that's when I was, uh, that's the period I was working there. So I'm going to just clear up a couple of silly speculation things I'm seeing. Number one, uh, the leak did not come from either Billy Bush or Rob Silverstein. Rob uh, is the producer. Rob, I saw Rob quoted as saying he's the last guy who would have leaked that tape, and he's right. Rob is the last guy who would have leaked that tape. He just doesn't get involved in that kind of stuff. Rob reminds me of Steve Bannon in some ways, in that he's just a no-nonsense guy who who gets the work done. You know, uh, Rob's a real hard-working producer and has been at that show forever. And uh, I used to be in meetings with him and have dealt with him one-on-one -on -one and other stuff. And he's just the last guy who would leak that. Billy Bush is also the last guy who would leak that. People are speculating on this stuff as though this tape were just laying around on the floor. It wasn't. What uh, I've read in the Washington Post is that NBC News got the tape which means somebody at NBC News was looking into it and they realized, hey, Access Hollywood is produced by NBC. Um, and in fact, Access Hollywood, when I worked there, and I, I'm sure it's the same today, is one of the top money-making properties at NBC. It was, when I was working there, it was the number three top uh, money-makers for shows. The Tonight Show with Jay Leno, the Today Show. By the way, no one comments on the cool car that's behind. If you look when they get out of the bus... Uh, uh, Jay Leno's got a really nice old car off to the right. You'll see it. Look for it. You'll see it. But uh, but NBC was a big money maker and is for uh, Access Hollywood was a big money maker for NBC. So what happened was somebody in the news department, I'm sure, said, "Hey, let's look for dirt on Trump. Maybe there's something." And I bet they just asked him to pull everything. This is speculation, but I bet they just asked him, "What appearances do you have of Trump? Give me give me the tape." Then NBC had it. Now, this is what has been reported in the Washington Post, NBC News. So I'm sure it was somebody at NBC News who leaked it. Uh, uh, I, again, that what I read was they were preparing a report. They wouldn't have been preparing a report if they didn't have anything. And the most likely thing is, and it just happened the last week. So, you know, uh, I think Trump's apology last night was great. I thought the apology video was great. Uh, having watched the video a couple of times, mostly to look at the bus and the car, um, I just, I, I can't get worked up about it. I can't believe the American people are going to get worked up about it, too. When you listen to Trump and Billy on there, uh, they're just goofing. I don't, I don't know what else to say. It's just two guys goofing. And Trump is saying stuff that's intentionally outrageous to crack Billy up. You can hear Billy just laughing and Trump is saying stuff that's intentionally silly. I, I don't know how else to put it, but uh, dudes talk like that. Grow up. Like, I just don't understand. The, the, the Republicans who are acting, uh, you know, pearl clutchy about this. Oh, my God. You don't think they've talked that way? Really? Really? You don't think they've talked that way? Because I kind of do. And were they caught on video? No, but they weren't on Access Hollywood because they're politicians, and politics is Hollywood for ugly people. And so rather than... So, so it, you know, I thought Trump's apology was great. That's about all anybody said. I, I don't even feel like writing this up or anything like that because it's just too silly. The whole thing's too silly, and I have important stuff to do. Hey... My film on Black Lives Matter, uh, Bloody Road to Philadelphia, will be out very soon. And you can listen to the audio on my site. I should be pimping that. That's what I should be. Oh, my God. I said the word pimp. Okay, bye. I love everybody. Bye.